A special prosecutor shouldn't behave any differently than a regular prosecutor. The difference is essentially that nobody's really the boss of the special prosecutor or special counsel as the technical term is. And the reason that that's important is to give the public some assurance that these decisions about prosecution are being made without regard to political influence. Robert Mueller is the nominee of Republican administrations. Normally, you might expect a little bit of pushback from Democrats to a Republican, a former Republican presidential appointee investigating a Republican president. It's a testament to his reputation for independence, for tenacity, for honesty, that this seems to be the one nominee in Washington that everybody's been able to agree on. The president can't dismiss the special counsel. The special counsel can only be dismissed and for misconduct, for cause, by the attorney general. In this case, the attorney general is recused. Mueller could only be dismissed by the deputy attorney general, Rod Rosenstein. The new regulations that were written after the Ken Starr investigation went a little far afield from the original purpose of that investigation, which was Whitewater and Bill Clinton. We ended up with Monica Lewinsky and everybody knows what happened next. We saw President Trump complaining about a witch hunt. This witch hunt is being ordered up, at least, by the same person who he praised um, just one week earlier. Attacking the prosecutor, attacking the investigator, attacking the judge, something that we've seen this president do repeatedly in the past, is probably not the smartest strategy, um, either politically or legally. Politically, it makes you look thin-skinned. It might make you look like you have something to hide. Legally, uh, prosecutors, judges aren't supposed to take this into account in deciding how to handle your case. But obviously, behavior has an impact on all of us.